y'all welcome back to another vlog so currently I am headed to the mall and I'm looking for what I'm looking for is <clears throat> a black dress because I have to go to a funeral tomorrow and I have to sing um, I have to sing I am looking for a little black dress not so little but a black dress because we at church a black dress and I saw a pair of shoes at Dillard's that I want to get and I also need to get me some stockings now I'm not like I don't mind wearing stockings so the church I came out of they made they was trying to make it like a law that you wore stockings I'm like no <laughs> no I'm gonna wear what I want to wear as far as like I'm not you know I dress presentably of course you know dress presentably but I, I would when it would be like summertime girl who put inside who who not me and I already sw that sweat and them stockings is a bad combination so they used to always be mad at me because I would be like oh okay yeah I'm not wearing those stockings I'm not so but I want to wear I want to wear them this time I want to wear them because I feel like you know a little black dress with a little black stocking and my little cute shoes that I want to get it's a it's a it's a look even though we're going to a funeral you know it's it, you know we just we still gotta be looking like like we like to look anywho so that's what I'm going to do today so we're on the way we're getting on the highway we're on our way to Dillard's to see what they have I pray they have these shoes in my size <sighs> um and then I'll, you know, bring you all in the store with me. And then after that, we got to go to training. Uh, <laughs> because we, we, we just got to go out. <laughs> we just got to go. I'm not going to complain because I get to work out. That's the thing. You get to do it. You get to do this. You, you get to do it. So, I'm going to go focus on the road and I'll see y'all at the mall. See, I know I gotta go get the shoes first, right? Then the outfit to follow. Yeah. Y'all, these are cute. Ooh. Ooh. Sheesh. Okay, let me try this in a seven, too. That's so stinking cute. Let's try both of them in a seven. I love these. A good pink and red combo. Yes, me. But I like these the best. Let's 
sexy. Sheesh. Oh, the pink and green is cute too. Okay. Let's see if they have it in this. You can't go wrong with a black. That's adorable. Let's see what they got. Okay, girls, we got the shoes. Let me know which ones y'all think I got. I'm gonna show y'all when I get home. Put the whole outfit together and I'll show you when I get home, but let me know which ones y'all think I got. I think y'all know me by now, I know which ones I probably got. I was definitely coming to get some like, um, what was it? I was coming to get, it's just a simple black dress. That's all I need, something simple. That's it, it's a funeral. I don't wanna have my myself hanging out, let's see. Like this is real cute, super cute. With the jacket, I'm not a fan of like short blazers like that, but it's cute, like pants, that's real cute. Let's go see what else we can see. Ah, uh, this is the only black that I see, and I don't like that. Cause I don't like it. I don't think I like that. Especially not for one hundred and eighty dollars. I don't like it. And in Antonio Milani, I can wear a four. I, that's a lot going on on this dress, and they have it in pink. This is what it looks like on the mannequin. Mm -hmm. I don't like that at all. I don't see any black over here except pants. I don't want pants. This is business. No. The only other thing they have is this, but I already have. This is black, but it's a two. I can't fit a two. Not yet. Can't fit a two. But it's cute, but they don't have a top. So that's going to be a no. I don't see anything else, y'all. Okay, I love that this is a swing dress. It's so playful, um, so girly, because I'm just a girl, okay? And I pair it with my, some fishnets, heels, CVs, adorable. So I got a little PR today from Replica, and they sent me They sent me their new scent. It's called, let's see. It's called From the Garden. Fragrance description is earth and tomato leaves. Let me show y'all. 
Now I'm already wearing something. I already I have on Prada or YSL Intense. So let me just spray it. I like it. Gotta let it air out for a second. I like it. It does smell a little bit fruity, a little fruity, a little fresh. Perfect scent for summer and uh, spring and summer, I do think. Definitely spring. Good job, Replica. I like that. I think I like it. It smells like, it says earth and tomato leaves, but it smells like it has like a little hint Smells like a little candy-ish almost. But I like this. I like it. I like it. So I'm definitely going to incorporate that in the spring. Well, now. Anyway. So I went back to Sephora. I think in the last vlog, I told y'all that I bought... I showed y'all the Josie Moran body butter that I bought. But I didn't... I think I may or may not have told you that I had two more on the way here. <laughs> I ordered two online because when I originally went online, they didn't have them in the store. So I ordered two more. I ordered two. One is like the Vanilla Vibes is my favorite. So I bought a Vanilla Vibes, Topless Tangerine, and Vanilla Apricot, right? The Vanilla Apricot, I love that. It does smell really, really good. But I think Vanilla Vibes is my favorite because I think you can pair it with anything because the vanilla scent is so light. Well, I know that the girls was, I know the girls are going to sell these out because they did before. So I stocked up on mine. So I went to Sephora again today. And I got another one. That's right. This is the Vanilla vibes this is vanilla vibes i got another one and did and did it just goes with anything like it just you can pair it with anything let me see if i can show y'all how it looks on the skin like how moisturizing and nourishing it is on the skin i don't know if y'all can see that real well but listen Go get this, okay? Go, go get this. Go get this. And let me show you what I also got. I also picked up the Argan Oil. My husband said, Nicole, don't go, don't go back in Sephora. I said, okay, I'm not gonna go back after today for the next, I'm not even gonna lie. I don't even know. But this is the oil right here and I'm just going to use this like on spots that I want a little extra love because it's already argan oil inside of the body butter so I have a total of four so if y'all sell them out again I'm good I'm good so I also picked up I want to try a Paula's Choice skincare so I picked up this um, double pack this double small sample pack of exfoliant so it's got exfoliant daytime and I think one is for day, one is for night. So one is a BHA liquid exfoliant. The other one is a lactic acid, mandelic and lactic acid liquid exfoliant. So they're both liquid. I think one you can use, well, you can use both of them in the daytime. You just have to make sure you have to wear, you just have to be certain that you wear sunscreen, but I think the lactic acid is, you really need to wear sunscreen with that. So I'll probably would use that one at nighttime, but these are supposed to be really, really good exfoliators. And so I got these and I want to try it out. If I like it, then I'll go buy the full size. Let me try to get working on these edits, girl. I've been gone literally all day, literally all day.
Good morning and happy. Is it still morning? Yes, good morning and happy Wednesday. So I'm not gonna even hold y'all. When I yesterday I went to a funeral, and so I did not pick up the camera um, too much yesterday. Well, I showed y'all my outfit, but I didn't vlog um, yesterday at all because I was just. Um, spending time with my husband. Hold on, y'all. Because I was spending time with my man. And after the funeral, and I just wanted to spend some time with him. So I needed to spend, we needed to spend a little uninterrupted time together after the funeral. So that's what we did. And I pretty much didn't vlog. Right now I am, so it's 10.57 and um i'm gonna go to home goods because i just want to take a look see around and see what i can see also i'm looking for something specific though I'm looking for something specific but i want to just see what it is that i can see also i um going to get in the sauna girl girl you know i'm going to get in the sauna because the sauna let me tell y'all something so I have been working to, I have a couple of spots on my face that I have no clue where they came, some uh, some uh, bumps that came up and they left a scar. I have no idea where they came from, right? So I've been getting in the sauna because my, um, one night room I told y'all last week that I was having a hard time sleeping. Okay, but well, we got in the sauna and I turned you know, did the lights, whatever, and I went and looked up light therapy to see which color worked with regulating my circadian rhythms and um, working with the serotonin in my brain to help me sleep. It's purple. I promise you. I went home. I was so relaxed. I went home. Um, I could just feel the color that I need when I go in. Like, it's just the color that I'm more drawn to than I'm not. Like, sometimes I'm drawn, most of the times I'm drawn to red. And red, you know, deals with the deep inner, whatever, whatever. And I ain't into that spooky, uh, I ain't into that other stuff. But the science behind the red light therapy, that's what I'm into. I mean, behind, behind the infrared sauna. So, I um, did purple. When I tell you, I slept. I went to time. I went to bed at a decent time, and I slept. I slept. My husband texts me every morning, asks me how I slept. This time, I told him I slept, honey. I slept good. So I know that the sauna works. Also, I had some hyperpigmentation spots on my face that I was using vitamin C and other things to lighten it up. I got in the sauna. These spots that I've been working on for I don't know how long are almost gone. You think I ain't gonna keep getting in there? Yes, I am. And then I asked my um, my th my mus neuromuscular therapist. I was like, "Is this?" He was like, "It's good for hyperpigmentation." Good for hyperpigmentation. I said, "Say less." Hyperpigmentation and sleep. I'm gonna be there. And he's running a special this month where you can get unlimited minutes for only a hundred dollars for this month when a session like a session is like twenty dollars for for me because i'm a member it's like twenty dollars for 19 minutes or 15 or something like that i don't know but um unlimited me please immediately immediately when i tell y'all i'm walking like my legs is made of wood because they hurt so bad it hurts so bad. So I did leg day on Monday, right? Yesterday I didn't go because I had the funeral. Then today I had um, back and bicep day. But I, what I did was got on the stepper for 15 minutes. I'm trying to get the soreness out of my legs, right? What? Also, I got my mask going in here because y'all already know. Y'all, I'm really thinking about getting up to go my front door. Now I have a, um, I have a box with wreath on the front door, but I like, this one has a bow on it. Now, could I make my own bow? Yes, but my box wood wreath is square. I really like this. 
Let me take it down. Let's see what it's giving. Oh, I'm getting this one. I love this. Yeah, we gotta get this. I also love these. So we gotta get these too. So y'all, <laughs> I didn't get the wreath because I called Jasmine. She was like, where you at? I was like, home this. I was like, I'm about, I'm, I'm about to get this wreath. And I said, I'm about to get this wreath and these flowers. And I showed her the wreath. She said, girl, don't you already have that? I was like, I don't, I do, but I don't. Like the one I have is square and I got it outside right now, but it needs um, a bow on it. I'm just gonna go get some ribbon, some black and white striped ribbon, see what I can find and just stop playing. Or I thought like a blue twile, twil, twil, T-O-I-L-E. That would be cute. I thought that might be cute. I don't know. I'm gonna run over here and see. So my, my therapist pushed my appointment back from 11.55 to 12.10. So it's 11.30. So I have a little bit of time to kill. So I'm gonna go over here to Michael's and see I'm not taking this mask off yet. I'm gonna run over here to Michael's and see if they have any of the ribbon that I, in my mind, I can see. I don't have blue anywhere in the house, but I am looking for some like blue for spring and summer. I am looking for like blue pillow covers because I want to do like blues, like um, very light blues, different shades of blue, but light on the lighter side. So like Carolina blue, um, Carolina blue, light blue, light blues. And then also a little mix of green. But I still wanna keep it my style, like not too much. Um, I don't want a no whole lot of prints. I don't want that. But I would like to keep it, you know. So we'll see what we can find. I haven't found any covers that I like yet. Said so I was gonna go in Pottery Barn to see if I saw anything that I like. Maybe I can do that while I'm waiting, if I have some time. I don't know, but right now, let's go over to my and see what kind of ribbon that they have because I'll make me a bow to go on what I already have, which is probably better. Okay. So today, I went to Trader Joe's. After I finished training, I went to Trader Joe's and TJ Maxx, but I didn't take y'all with me because I was just trying to figure out what it was. I was just trying to see what I could see. And then I said I would show y'all when I came home. So it's Thursday. I don't think I picked up the camera yesterday. I've been really tired. Um, so I didn't pick up the camera yesterday. I think I picked it up on Tuesday. And let me show you what I get from Trader Joe's. So I just bought bags of lettuce. So this one is my favorite blend that they carry. It's a green lettuce blend. And I think this is one of the best that they sell along with a kale, like a kale salad blend that they have. It's like kale and Brussels sprout salad. I love that. Um, then I bought romaine. I like green leaf lettuce because it's a little softer than romaine. So I'll just add a couple of pieces of romaine to my salad or whatever it is I'm having. And then y'all know we got flowers. We got a lot of flowers actually. My husband, I just gave him a bucket and I just started putting because he already knows what's up. So let me show you what we got. So we got orange and yellow roses. These are, you know, standard traditional roses. I have to figure out the name of these. They're not cabbage roses, but I'm not sure what they are. But they're different. You can see them. They're different. So I got these. I also got some filler. So... I got green dragon filler. Then I got freesia. It's really pretty. And I also got some. I think these are some, these might not be snapdragons, but anyway, I got these. It's a filler. It says it's a stock, but I got these. These smell so good. So I'm gonna make something. Um, 
If I don't do it tonight, I'll get up in the morning. If I don't do like a late night flower arranging session, I'll get up in the morning and do it. I'm a little tired, so I probably will not do it tonight. I'll probably just stick a little bit more water and ice in here and they'll keep, they'll be fine. They'll be fine. So let me show you what I picked up. Oh man, I meant to get some oatmeal. Y'all, it's such a struggle trying to eat oatmeal and you have gluten, you got gluten problems, you can't eat gluten because regular oatmeal, instant oatmeal, I don't eat instant oatmeal anyway because it's full of sugar, but regular oatmeal, instant oatmeal, regular oats have sugar in them. I mean, have um, gluten in them. So I have to use, there's a certain brand that I have to use. It's Bob Red's Meal, Bob Red's Meal. They also have um, quick cooking oats and um, the regular oats that you cook. I don't like my oatmeal cooked, so I don't buy those. I buy the quick cooking ones. Y'all was trying to play me on Instagram when me and friend were debating about oatmeal. Y'all said I like hard oatmeal, whatever. I don't like mushy food. I don't like applesauce. I don't like grits. I don't like anything that's mushy. It's a texture thing for me, so... Anyway, y'all stay trying to be on his side. Mm. So I picked up strawberries, blueberries, and I just got some dressing for dinner. I take this Caesar dressing when I don't feel like making Caesar dressing. I take the Caesar dressing and I doctor it up. So I add lemon juice, Parmesan cheese, and black pepper and Worcestershire sauce. Try it. If you try it, tag me on Instagram. Let me know you did it because it tastes like you made it. Or you got it at a restaurant. You know those Caesar dressings you get at restaurants that you can't quite figure out how to get it at home unless you bake it? Yeah. And then I showed y'all the... So I ended up... I told y'all what I ended up getting at home just yesterday. So I just ended up getting these stems. And I think I'm going to play around with them tonight. But they are so pretty. They're so beautiful. And it's like... I mean, it's in here. It's three, four... $14.99, so I didn't think that was bad at all. And they look realistic to me. And I'm very picky about fake flowers, so I got some. Then when I went to TJ Maxx today. So, you know, we self-care girlies, okay? We, we, we self-care. Anyway, um, and y'all know I love my showers and my bath time. Okay, y'all know I love skincare. Y'all know how I'm about skincare, how I am about body care, how I am about taking care of my body inside and out. But I love soft, smooth skin, right? Okay, so I picked up some more loofahs. I mean, not loofahs. I picked up some more sponges from TJ Maxx. I always get my sponges from TJ Maxx. I kind of replace them like every month. Um, these were, it's a two pack, but these are, I like them. I like my um I like my sponges to be firm. So these are firm. And I use these after I exfoliate. Like after I do my exfoliation, then I'll go in and I'll use these with like a softer, with a um, different body wash. But these were a two pack for $4.99. So I got those. I also found this ice roller. Now I have one, but I needed another one. So I got this one from TJ Maxx and it was $7.99. And if you don't, um, it's good for puffiness and we are coming up on, we, we're in allergy season now because I've started having to take my allergy pills. And so then I also picked up this face mask because I've seen these at, this one is for sensitive skin. So I've seen these at Sephora, but they're like $15 a piece, which I was gonna buy them, but I found them at TJ Maxx for 10. So I found this one. So I'm gonna go to a different TJ Maxx tomorrow and see if I can find some more. Um, then, I was so excited about this. I found this. So much as I was looking for specific things to put in my house, I just wasn't buying everything. This is one of the specific pieces I was looking for. I love this so much. I think I'm going to put this either on, I'm going to see what it looks like on the entryway table. I feel like I could put a candle down in here. Yep, but that's not what I'm going to use it for. So I'm going to put this on the entryway table and see what I think 
Um, it's just a marble bowl. I absolutely love it. Let me pull up closer so you can see the details on it. This was $19.99. I think, did I tell you how much the ice roller was? $7.99. Um, but I love the bowl. I'm going to try it on my entryway and see what I think about it. If I don't like it on the entryway, then I'll probably use it on the coffee table or somewhere. But those were all my purchases. I'm getting ready to pack my husband up some lunch so he can have some lunch tomorrow. Pack it up and put it away so he can have some lunch for tomorrow. So if I don't pick y'all back up tonight, I will chat with y'all in the morning. girlies and guys if you watch hey to my husband because he'll be watching my channel too hey y'all happy friday so listen i got maybe <laughs> a few hours of sleep last night i don't even know i don't know why i don't know why but my sleep is definitely off um was definitely off last night um and it when my sleep is off it throws me off in everything my moods my energy as i'm sure it does a lot of other people but y'all know i'm in my two week time frame right i think i'm like 11 days out from my cycle so i share this because people women ask me when i posted something about pmdd Women were like, we've never heard of it. We've never, I never heard of it either until I went to a, um, my doctor at the time, a primary care doctor, um, who was a fantastic woman, told me about, she told me about a whole lot of stuff, but she told me about this. And I started, y'all know I'm going to do my own research. I started to do my research and I was like, oh my God. I was like, so what's the cure? She was like, you just have to flow with the way your cycle flows. So I've learned over the years, especially after turning 40, I got to flow with the way my cycle flows. Because if I try to go against what my body's doing, it does not work. It does not work. So that is one reason why I'm so in tune with my body. We got to listen to our bodies, girls. Like, this is like, I'm in my, what is this? the first part of my luteal phase so it calls for there's a lot of like going inward there's a lot of staying to myself there's a lot of it's just a lot of me like taking care of myself a lot of resting i do that anyway but in this particular phase of my cycle it's more so i schedule my hair appointment early which i'm glad because i don't want to be in the midst of people this is just how it is like i told y'all in the last vlog you gotta know yourself i know myself so i scheduled my hair appointment early today so i'm here and um after that i really do want to stop my home goods one more time just one more time so i think i'm gonna go by there and where else am i going i think i'm gonna go home i really would like a piece of cake a cupcake or something like that but in this phase refined sugar is not good for you like it causes more harm than good like for me 
it's not about like the body or weight gain. For me, it's like anxiety symptoms and they're too much. Also have not eaten today. So I need to, it's 11 o'clock. Also have not eaten. So I need to figure out what I'm going to eat. And it needs to be, there are certain foods that align with your cycle, certain phases of your cycle. So I need to, um, I plan it out, I write everything out. I'll show y'all how I do it. I write everything out just to kind of prepare and I prepare my meals around those particular foods that I know my body will need, um, that will support my body at the phase that it's in. But I'll share that with y'all. I um, told my husband, I was like, honey, I ain't got it. I don't have it right now. <laughs> he understands. We've been in this for a minute. He understands. He was like, babe, whatever I got to do to help, whatever you need me to do. Just whatever you need me to do. So I came to do my hair while he stayed at the house to get some, do some things that I needed done at the house, which is fine. Um, but let's go in here and get our hair done, girls, and then we'll come back out. I also need to go to Bath and Body Works today and pick up a lot more wildflowers because they had another sale, the same sale in a week, and then it was for two days. So I bought me some more wildflowers. So I need to go pick those up as well. So yeah, let's go on in here. Thank you. 
Friday. I'm back home. I think I caught some snippets of me making these arrangements, but let's just show you what we got. This is one. I made this one a little bit less full than the one that's going in here. I just felt like using a little bit of color for spring, but still keeping it mainly white, but with just little pops of color. That's really like my style. So, this one I'll take to put in my bedroom. Yeah, because this smells just so good, so fragrant. So I'm gonna put this in my room, our bedroom. And um, I'm gonna make a small arrangement because I got a few things left over. So I'm gonna make a really small one. Let me show you this vase I picked up today at Home Goods. Let me shift this to the side. Hang on. Let me just show you what I bought as a whole. If I didn't do a lot. So, like I told y'all, very specific. I'm very being very intentional about what we're doing. I didn't get a lot, so I picked up this book. Just, you know, neutrally um, feels like home. But the pictures in here are so pretty. Um, yeah, like. Or, let me find some more. It's more farmhousey in this book, which is not my vibe. But she calls it relaxed interiors for a meaningful life. But I just like the book itself. So we got this. And I pick up this marble plate to go back on the kitchen because what's right there is irking me. So I picked up this marble plate and it's real marble. It was $9.99. If you are looking for stuff like this to put like a tray in your bathroom or a tray on the sink, go to the bathroom section and Home Goods or TJ Maxx. This was $9.99. It has so a little footed on the bottom. I absolutely love this. So I'm gonna replace it where the tray is right now and put that up there. And this is the base that I bought. The base was $6.99. And I was debating on whether I should get it or not. And I was like, girl, just pick that vase up. So this is the vase. I thought it was really, really cute. I'm getting ready to use it to put the rest of the little arrangements I have, the rest of the flowers that I have. I'm going to stick them in here. And then I'm going to put it in the entryway. I do believe. So we can do that now.